Okay, pause the YouTube. Six Foot Hacks here. Happy you guys today. Week number eight of the WBE. Sorry that this is going up so late. Hopefully this will be going up by Wednesday. Uh, week nine should still be going up on Saturday though. So we should be straight for that. And then hopefully the rest of the season. I know I said that before when I uploaded a match late, but uh, we'll see how things go. We are facing Patty Trills. Definitely check them out, guys. Channel looking stuff will be down below. Also check out our team builder to see what I expected uh, Patty to bring here, which is almost everything except for the fact that I did not expect the Raichu. Okay, so yeah, Raichu is going to be a little bit annoying to potentially deal with. He also has... Uh, no Drodagon, which is actually really nice. Okay. So I'm guessing he's just going to be relying on that Golbat. So I didn't expect Raichu plus Zam and the Rebombi. He also didn't bring Primate, which is actually really good for us. I was really scared of that. Alakazam. That's Mega Alakazam, by the way. Toad. Golbat, I was kind of expecting. Uh, Raichu. And what am I missing? The Rebombi. Rebomb B. My handwriting is so terrible. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this started. I'm not sure what I would want to lead with. Actually, Raichu is going to be quite the nuisance, potentially. I may just want to lead my Lopunny here. I could see I'm leading Raichu, which could be very, very annoying, actually. I think I'm going to lead my... Well, actually, no. Hold on. I think I'm going to leave Reuniclus on this one. Unless he leads with Rebombi, then there shouldn't be too much that we have to worry about. So, yeah, definitely check out Patty, guys. Again, channel link and stuff will be down below. Hopefully, we can bounce back this week. We are, unfortunately, in a two-game losing streak. We lost to Luke due to a bit of unfortunate hacks. And then uh, we got wrecked by Gator, so hopefully we can bounce back here. If anything, we at least have this beautiful, beautiful background that we can uh, see while we take an L. So, Saidu is going to be the Toad. Okay, that is fine. He most likely is going to just want to get up his rocks here, turn one. I could go straight for the Psychic. I don't necessarily have too much to deal with this Seismic Toad. I could try to bring in my Kamo to get up my own rocks. As he goes for his own rocks here. Would he have the ice punch? And would that necessarily be too bad? I could just get off damage on the side of to see exactly what kind of set it is running though. Which I think is what I would rather do. Psychic should do a solid like 30%. Yeah, so I'm going to go for Psychic here. See what his, what his toad is running. As he decides to switch out, that's fine by me. Uh, nothing's really going to want to appreciate taking this Psychic, though. As in comes the Rabombi. Uh, I'm not sure why he switched right into this. Maybe he thought I would go for the Energy Ball. That does so much damage. Good lord. <laughs> that did way more than I was expecting. Okay. Uh, we do not want to stay in here, though, and take a hit. Actually, I could realistically stay in here if I really wanted to. We did 55%, so this thing is running actually a lot of HP investment. Okay, that's a little bit scary. But we do have a the muck in the back. I'm going to switch right into that here. See what he wants to do. He could definitely try to pull a double here. Uh, if he's got the U-turn, he could also go for that as well, which could be a little bit annoying. But weakening this Rebombi so early on is actually really nice, as he does stay in here, or he's going to decide... To go for the U-turn as we bring in our Alolan Muck. He actually goes for the webs. Okay, webs are going to be a little bit annoying. But I should be able to defog later on the Golbat, most likely. So from here, I kind of just want to click knockoff. I don't really think I lose uh, anything in doing so. If he does stay in, I guess that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's see. Muck. Uh, we do have Shadow Sneak now, though, so that's good. We have the actual little form of priority. Um, we don't quite knock him out. Actually, I can probably go for Ice Punch. But Ice Punch be better. No, Fire Punch, I guess, is better here. I can see him just bringing in the Toad immediately. Is the thing. Mm, not sure what I want to do here. 
He could just bug buzz to try to weaken me. Yeah, I think I'd rather just safely fire punch here. Ah, so he's gonna switch, but we know he's at 45% now, it's fine. We have a chance to potentially burn or poison here. We do have a 30% chance to poison because of the poison touch, as we do not get the poison, unfortunately. That is fine, though. I am gonna switch directly into my Silvali, I think. Mainly for the fact that I do not want this... I do not want these webs up on my side. You could also just go for a ground move here on the off chance that I do stay in. And even if he were to go for the rocks, I'm still going to be able to defog them away and then I can parting shot out. So if I go for knockoff there, that might have been my better play. Ah, I should just listen to my gut on that one. Also, Ice Punch wouldn't have been bad. We could have got off a little bit more damage, but I guess uh, it's not too big of an issue. As we do bring in our Silvali here, he's going to go for the knockoff of his own and that is fine by me I'd rather just go ahead and get rid of these rocks so we know he's got knockoff he's definitely have to have rocks sorry I meant sticky webs I'm gonna defog away these sticky webs I don't really want to deal with them hmm. I don't think it's worth getting my own rocks just yet fortunately your Bombi being super weak though is nice. So from here I could probably just bring in my Kamoa I think. As he gets up his own rocks, that's fine by me, I'm not really too concerned about that. Rocks on my side of the field aren't necessarily that bad. So I'm not too concerned about them, which means I can just go ahead and parting shot out of here. So he's got knockoff, he's got rocks. I would assume he has Scald. And then the final move, I'm not sure. It would have to be a ground move. Most likely. I guess he could have Ice Punch. Mm, it's not the biggest issue. Like, I can still safely defog off on the Golbat too, and as long as I outspeed Sizemento, we should be fine. And then we also outspeed Landorus if it really comes down to it, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna Parting Shot here. My guess is that he may try to knock off again, knowing that I won't want to stay in here. That would do really good damage. I think I'm gonna bring in Kamo here. I'm gonna bring in Kamo. See what he does. As he goes for the skull, that's fine. That did zero. Ah, no burn. Awesome. Okay, good. Hmm, I kind of just want to get on my rocks here. A part of me wants to go for the Autotomize, actually. A part of me really wants to Autotomize here. Is it worth it, though? I could also just Flamethrower. I'm not sure if he would really want to stay in here, is the thing. He could stay in scouting out to see what I want to do. In which case, I'm going to get on my rocks. If he makes a hard switch here into Rabombi, that's a really good play. That's what I was a little worried about. Gobi is the goal bat. Okay, that's fine. So we get up our rocks. And now we will get off... I know, I just paused there, I paused. We will get off chip damage on the... Rebombi when it comes in. It's at 45%, so it'll be at 20%, which is nice. What would this want to do? He could go for the U-turn. I'm still just going to bring in my Reuniclus. And then by bringing in Reuniclus, if he doesn't U-turn, then I can probably just go straight for the Thunder Wave, which is going to be really good, I think. He could defog here and then try to bring back in the Toad. As he actually goes straight for the Brave Bird. Okay. So we're going to find out what kind of investment this has now. Let's see. Oh, that was a crit. That sucks. I did 109. Is this offensive? See, if he has taunt, this is where this is going to really suck now. 
Yeah, I think this is offensive. How much did he do to us? Let's see. Yeah, he did 109 as I expected. Yeah, this is like max attack. Uh, I'm forced to recover here, unfortunately. I'm hoping he doesn't have the taunt. That would really suck, dude. That crit actually really sucks if he does have the taunt. Because two Brave Birds would have not knocked us out here by any means. So he's going to switch. We now know he's at 60% though and he's offensive. Okay, so recover off the damage. We're back up to full. Uh, Raichu is a little bit scary. Uh, what if he... Like, the only way he's doing damage to us is if he's life orb, though, is a thing. I could risk staying in here. Hmm. What if he has signal beam? If he's like Beginium Z with Signal Beam, that would be really bad. I could make the switch right back into Muck. But would he... The question is, would he go for the Bolt Switch here? He could just want a Thunderbolt, potentially. I mean, either way, I think Muck is my safe switching. Regardless. Uh, he could Nasty Plot, though. I think I'm gonna just be aggressive in Psychic here. I'm gonna just be aggressive. So he does Thunderbolt. If he specs, that's bad. He is not spec, bro, bro. Oh, that sucks. Um, that's an okay. <sighs> that could come back to bite us. So how much did he do? He did 81 points of damage to us. So he is max special attack. I think this is assault vested. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is assault vested Raichu now. So at 136. Oh, you can two KOs here. I don't think I can risk thing in here I could try and recover but I don't think that's gonna help us out much dude that paralysis really sucks okay mm. I'm gonna try and recover I think cuz he could bolt switch here maybe yeah okay so as long as we don't get paralyzed we should be straight I thought he could go for the bolt switch there. So he's sitting at about 50%. <sighs> Please don't get paralyzed. Come on, baby. Come on, Bailey. Come on, baby. Don't get paralyzed on me. Don't get paralyzed on me. We got this. We got this. It's you and me. It's you and me. We got this. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I needed that paralysis. I mean, I, not the, no, I didn't need the paralysis. What am I talking about? I needed that recovery. So in comes the landers. I'm switching right into my Tauros. Tauros is my main answer to this beast. That is Landers. This thing is an absolute monster and a terror. I definitely think this is going to be his Zemon. So he will now know that we are Intimidate. Just a matter of what does he want to go for. If he goes for the knockoff, that's fine. Okay, so I can Ice Beam here. Pretty comfortably, I think. I actually kind of want a Toxic. He should see Ice Beam coming. I don't think he would stay in here though, is a thing. If he Z move, he knocks us out though, so Toxic would not be my play in that scenario. 
What if I toxic here? Hmm. No, I think Ice Beam is still safer. Ice Beam should be fine. Okay, I'm not worried about him switching out here. Sigh, dude. Yeah, I thought he could bring this in, so we could have gone for the toxic. But Ice Beam should do about 2% to this lol. Is it worth getting off a toxic on this? I think I'm gonna toxic here. Oh, I need to get off some damage on the Seismic Toto. It's not just constantly switching in and out with little to no punishment. I don't have a single grass move on my team. So I need this Toxic off now. I'm hoping he knocks off thinking I'll bring back in Reuniclus. As it goes for the Skull, that's fine by me. We will tank that. No burn, thankfully, which is great. And now we're able to just wear this down. I'm gonna protect here. Just to rack up a little bit of damage. To rack up a little bit more damage on him. And I want to switch in to my Kamoa here. Like, Golbat is super low. I think I can just get a kill with Kamoa at this point. If I can Autotomize, then Kamoa should be able to knock something out. The only issue would be that Mega Alakazam in the back. Oh, we could actually kill it. With the Kamomonium Z. Hold on. Golbat. Uh, after Rocks, we knock out Golbat with our Z move, which is good. I still want to save my Tauros. So I'm gonna switch into Kamoa here. Whew. I'm hoping he'll think I'll bring in Reuniclus and go for knockoff. As he goes for Skull, that's fine. And does he... He does not burn us. Okay, good. This is where I think I go for the Autotomize. Yeah, I'm gonna Autotomize here. Because I should just nab a KO after I go for the Autotomize. So we're going to set up the plus two, see what he wants to do, and then go from there. But getting off this Toxic on Toad is really great because now we have some type, some type of damage on this thing. This thing will be sitting at full right now. So he does switch. Lanny Phantom is the Landorus. He's at 75%. Oh, we knock him out here. We knock him out with our Z-move. I think I have to pop the Z. I'm going for it. Mmm. Did I click it too fast? I think I might have gone and jumped the gun here. Because he could just bring in Rabombi now. And we popped our Z-move. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have Z-moved here. Damn it, because he can just sack off the B. Yeah. Mm. I mean, is that the worst thing ever? Like, him losing Rabombi is really good for us still because we don't have to worry about webs at that point. And on plus two, we're outspeeding him anyways. So he knows that we have Rocks and Autotomize. He may be thinking that we'll predict him to switch here or that we'll go for our Z move initially. If he stays in and this drops, that would be amazing for us. I don't think I should have Z'd there. But I mean, in this scenario, I'm a plus two. Like, even if I were to predict them to double, it's not worth me switching out. Because if he does stay in, then whatever comes in is getting smacked by an Earthquake. And again, lose him losing Rabombi is actually not that bad. Okay, good. So this should just drop. Please. Please tell me this drops. That's 75%. Yeah, even if he's max HP, unless he's like Assault Vested. Unless he's Assault Vested. 
Don't be, please don't be assault vested. This should kill. This should kill. Yes! Down goes Landorus. Awesome. Landorus is gone. That is great. That is great. So, our rocks are here to stay for now. Rabombi coming in doesn't make sense. Raichu coming in doesn't make sense. Either Seismitoad or Alakazam has to come in here. And if he brings in the Golbat... We know he's like max attack, so... If he's not max bulk, at 60% after rocks, we might knock him out with the clanging scales? Potentially. Yeah, Flamethrower doesn't do much else either. I only need a Flamethrower at this point for the Rabombi. I want to say that Landorus might have actually been Scarfed. That would have made sense, but the fact that he's lost Landorus is huge for us. That is so huge, guys. That is so, so huge. He can still win this, though, potentially. Of course, Mega Alakazam is kill leader for a reason. <sighs> dude, I'm so happy Reuniclus didn't get paralyzed. So we're sitting in a good spot right now. Sai, dude, is a Seismitoad. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to try and get me to lower my defenses. Because I can just clanging scale this, honestly. I don't lose anything in doing so. Yeah, I'm just going to clanging scale I'm guessing maybe he thinks that Alakazam will drop two Acclaimed Scales, I'm not sure. He also still has Raichu though on the back. Uh, I don't mind getting rid of this Toad, that would be really nice for us too. Raichu I'm pretty sure is Assault Vested, because we did little to no damage to it. Uh, did I crit? Oh, he turns out to have Earthquake. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Uh, apparently I crit the Z... The Dragonium Z and I didn't even notice. Was he... Was he Assault Vested? Dude, if he was Assault Vested, that would actually suck. Because the only way he lived to hit was if he was Assault Vested, or if he had a lot of Spadef. Oh no, dude, that Z Draco killed them. Hold on, I'm gonna show him the Coke. Oh, so he thinks that Clanging Scales was- or he thought that I was Z Outrage. That's why. But I just showed him Scales. So now he knows that we are special. So yeah, he thought that uh, Clanging Scales was physical damage, but he probably thought it went for Outrage. So yeah, that crit didn't matter. That crit didn't matter. He said he was max attack, max speed. So yeah, that crit didn't matter. There was no way he lived uh, the clanging scales at all. I mean, the Z clanging scales at all. I don't know if that might have just affected his play though, as to why he probably brought in Toad here instead. So, is it worth just losing my Kamoa at this point? Because if he brings in Zam, I might as well just... Um, I might as well just sack it off, I guess, and just get off as much damage as I can so he can't just potentially set up a sub. That might be the wave. So the fact that he's lost two ground types already is amazing. It's really good for us. Clanging scales should do like 60% to Alakazam. So yeah, he, he was thinking that I was physical. So that's probably why he brought in Toad, not knowing if I was physical or special. And I just showed him clanging scales. So yeah, that's actually not a bad play on his part. Yeah, okay. So in comes the Zam. Uh, I think I should just sack this here. I'm not outspeeding anything else on his team with this. I'm not setting up on anything else. Kind Scales still does ridiculous damage. Still does ridiculous damage. I will take it. So we're sitting in an amazing spot right now. We're sitting in an amazing spot right now. So uh, what... Patty told me if you guys watch his side, or if you don't watch it, I mean, you should watch his side. Patty does have some enjoyable content. Some of his battles are actually pretty funny. So, he thought that because I was Dragonium Z, I was purely physical. He did not know that uh, Clanking Scales can also be 
uh, just regular uh, devastating Drake. For those of you who may not be aware, Kamomonium Z turns it into uh, the Soul Blaze move. I forget what it's called, Clangorous Soul Blaze, I think. But the reason why that is not allowed is because it is a Omni Boosting move. So even though it does damage, you get a plus one in all your stats, uh, which is not allowed. So yeah, he was thinking that I was just physically offensive because of that. So uh, I'm not sure how much it really changes, but we are able to wreck him. I can just bring in low punny here, safely fake out, I think. Fake out and quick attack should destroy this. I wish I had pursuit on my Alolan Muff, but I do not. So we're gonna bring in Lacey Evans. We're gonna go straight for the fake out into the quick attack. We should be fine. Uh, if he switches, that's not the worst thing ever. It really wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So yeah, I'm gonna fake out here. As long as I have this and my Muck in the back, we should still be able to deal with this uh, Mega Zam. So we're not in a bad spot at all. We brought him down to what? 36%? Oh no, Zam is not gone. Zam is at 36%. So he's gonna switch, I don't mind that. Raichu most likely. No, okay, this is fine, this is good. Because now I can just go for Quick Attack the next turn. Or actually, no, Fake Out should knock this out. Okay, so Rabombi goes down. We no longer have to worry about webs. That's amazing in itself. He still does not know that we have the Quick Attack, though. So yeah, Fake Out should bop this. Yes, down goes Rabombi. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if we one-shot that Golbat, though. As he brings in the Zam. I'm guessing he hopes I don't have the Quick Attack. But I have the Quick Attack. And Quick Attack should knock this out, right? How much is he at? He's at 26%. Even if he's max HP, we knock him out. If he's max defense, we knock him out. Quick Attack 100% is my play. I made sure to click it. This should drop. Go away. Yes. Down goes Zam. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're sitting in a really good spot now. We just got rid of two Mons on his end. Golbat, I don't think he's going to be knocked out by return. But the recoil will knock him out. Yeah, I can afford to lose Low Punny at this point if it means knocking out this Golbat. Because this thing realistically could be... A giant problem. I need to return here 100%. I need to return here 100% of the time. We should put him low enough to where Brave Bird Rico should knock him out. And we should be in a good spot. His last mon is the Raichu. Uh, yeah, we should knock him out here with return most likely. He's scarfed. What? Yeah, webs aren't up, right? Bro, this man had scarfed Golbat. What? That's scarf, right? Yeah, there's... There's no way he outsped me, what? Bro, this man brought Scarf Gold. That is crazy. That is crazy. What? <laughs> that is crazy. So, Low Punny. Wow, that is, that is wild. So we should be able to knock him out here with the return now, and we should be in a pretty good spot, I think. That's crazy. I mean, if he was a, a Violite, then it wouldn't have been as big of an issue, because we still could have potentially knocked him out. As he was Static Raichu! I knew he would be Static Raichu. Uh, GG fam. So we were able to pull out a very dominant 5-0 there. Wow. I did not expect the match to go this way. Um, I am happy though that 
Kamoa did a lot of work in his debut. And that's the cool thing about Kamoa, man. It can be physical, it can be special. And in this instance, it really caught Patty off guard. Also, he did not know about the whole uh, playing scales, I guess, being able to be Z with Dragonium. I don't know. Uh, just have to talk to him about it, I guess. I don't know. Good game to him. Check him out, guys. We're able to bounce back. Unfortunately, though, next week, uh, we do not have an easy matchup. We are facing MB for week number nine, and hopefully we can get a W, man. I don't know. Hopefully we can make it back-to-back -back wins, and we'll see how things go. But uh, leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you all this Saturday for sure. Friday with the team builder. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Later, everybody.